of the way. Man, I went down a drain. <laughs> was it enough, Finn? Plenty, I think. I haven't even asked, to be fair. Like. I thought you talking to Jordan. I was like, you have no idea how many fucking dogs piss on them things. You always hear cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that about anything. That's your piss on everything. You piss on everything. Yeah. Right, so, so uh, Lou's here to tell us about his 100 day challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, son. <laughs> so, what's the crack? Well, pretty much. It's, it's sort of like, um, it's like based off an anime, but people have started to do it because it's a very stupid concept. It was essentially this guy becomes, you know, if you had a one punch man. No. Well, essentially, it's an anime. You know, like Dragon Ball Z is like, oh, they fight yeah, yeah. martial arts, but like, one punch man is just a character he's written as a joke and he just ends every fight in one punch. Is he like the one. He's um, the bald headed guy. Is he the one that Israel Adesanya pretends to be, like, in the UFC? Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, he's got, like... I know there's one guy in the UFC that references, that, like, an anime, so that makes sense if there's him. Yeah, he does, like, all this crazy shit, like... Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, so, obviously, he's one punch, man. He, you know, he punches... Um, he insta-kills, like, planet-destroying stuff. Just like, uh-oh. Yeah. Saying, oh, everything's boring now. So no point being a hero. But, like, so, like, his stupid workout routine is like, how'd you get that strong? Oh, my God. And so it's like, oh, he ran a... Was it 10K every day? 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100... Um, Brunches. Yeah. And then he's just like, you yeah, well, know, but like obviously that's obviously his anime is massive. So they, it's part of like a massive movement. So you see people doing all these like challenges and it's because obviously you're doing 10K and you're, you're doing that much exercise every day for 100 days. Obviously there's like, there's no dieting involved yeah. either. But um, <laughs> yeah, so like you see people like actually like go from like, quite fat or just like an anime, like an anime watch, like <laughs> four eyes glasses kind of guy, like going to like from like quite fat to almost rocking a six pack. Yeah. Just, and like again, there's no diet. I think I might do a bit of a diet thing when I do it, but like, that's my plan is now in a hundred days, just doing a stupid thing. I might, what I might do because obviously I've got quite a bad ankle at the moment. But I'm going to try and like I probably won't run it because obviously it's different levels. So yeah. obviously if you do if you level ten, that is a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, ten k. If you're doing a level um five, it'd be fifty push-ups, five k. You know what I mean? That sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So I might do the like a hundred, like level ten on everything else, so a hundred everything every day, and then because obviously you make sure I get like twenty thousand steps. So yeah, that's a good shout. Well. 20,000 steps. It's about 2,000 steps a mile anyway, isn't it? Yeah, so, well, is it 10,000 is like four or five miles. Yeah, so you're not far. Well, you probably... Probably about. Yeah, when you tell yourself, like, I'll walk slash run the uh, level 10, isn't it? Yeah, yeah So, yeah. like, do your 10K. You could do it in a walk or a run. Yeah, and obviously... Over bet, the space of a day. And obviously, like, you know, what people do, tend to do is they take a week by week. So week one, they'll start off level two. Yeah. Three, no, well, week two, then, you know, like, they just move up like that. Mate, why don't you do that for 10 weeks, like, level one, level two? To... I know, because, like, I think, like, I, I, and obviously I'm, you know, I'm in good shape at the moment, but I think, like, level one, I won't notice anything. I want to yeah, see if I can mean, deep, yeah. you know, like, may, maybe not. I think I, if, I, if I start at level 10, I might buckle out early. You want to feel so, a burn as well, don't so, you? So maybe level four, level five. Yeah. Because, again, like, I can do 10, 20 push-ups a lot well, easy i think you should just start at level 10 like from the off is it i think you could yeah, do it like, yeah yeah you? yeah because obviously that's the thing is like you know you go in with all this like, yeah, i'm gonna do this and it's like shit it's actually fucking 100 of this every day yeah. and then job and then you have to go to work and then you have to you know man i'd love to see like the shape difference yeah that's what i mean now so like, what i might do now like maybe maybe start this saturday you know start off my level 10 and see how far i can because obviously i remember back when i was actually like running my mate from the raf i could run from my house to the top of the table yeah and i was and obviously it was me mr fucking asthma you know like but now, like, obviously, I, I, I get out of breath by the time I get to this. That's just walking. But, like, if I can, like, obviously see how far I can go and then hopefully push past that, maybe go to a level 11, who knows, like... Yeah, I mean, that'd then, be class. But I think, like, obviously, a lot of people when it comes to this sort of stuff is the diet. And everyone's like, oh, you know, because obviously you, you get that sugar craving. But I was like, I'm not going to go and sing with that sort of stuff. I'm going to try and make sure my meal is sort of, like, at least one meal a day, nothing after eight, nothing before four. Yeah, you're going to need a fair bit of fuel as well, aren't you, to, like, yeah. keep yourself going through that. And, I, and obviously, it's cheap. No gym expense there. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, mate, it'd be class like a fucking... Are you going to, like, document day by day? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, obviously, I'm going to get all the apps, all like, the notes. Because like, I do a lot of my stuff on my phone, and I also, like, write stuff down. Just, yeah. Like, just multiple, like, entry points. But, um, yeah, yeah, I might get, like, Strava. I haven't got Strava. Is that Strava? Get Strava, mate. Yeah, yeah. it's class for so tracking. I, I got, like, then. a Fitbit and, like, all this other stuff. It doesn't tell me where I've gone. Because I don't really care about the route. I just want to make sure I'm clocking the units of, like, the distance and the steps yeah. and... So it doesn't matter if I'm doing it, because I used to do um, sprints down the track. And obviously, I used to have like a Google map recording thing and that. And it was a boring thing. It was like, well, you did this for three hours and just like down to Crick and then <laughs> yeah. like for like another two and then Maybe back home. It, it'd be class. Like, take, you should definitely like take photos every 10 days or every day or something. Yeah. I was like, that's was, was fine because obviously, with, obviously, this is a challenge. I've seen a lot of people, their common thing is if you can get to 30 days, you can get to 100. Yeah. So what they do is they have a day one photo before. Yeah. And then they have a 30 day photo and then they just go fucking 100. Obviously, yeah. like what I might do, and like if we do something with it, because like part of the reason I want to do it is because obviously we've had a lot of guests on, 
And when you're sitting there behind the camera, you listen to all these like people like you are like very inspiring. <laughs> not not just fitness, you know, obviously you had Thailand last week. But you just just do it, you know. Like you don't know. Don't do tie like that, bro. No, 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 no <laughs> yeah, that tie's great. But he, he was saying, like, you know, because when he was talking about it in his last uh, in the last episode, he was saying like that twenty minutes can get you going. Yeah, and he says like you know like just so many avenues. Like I think he said he's that Joey f- fitness guy or that guy that does YouTube things with the quarantine. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I was like, yeah, that's true. And I was like, why am I why not doing doing stuff like that? And obviously, yeah, like, like listening, the personal trainers coming, it's just great. I was like, oh yeah, and, and obviously Kieran, and he's like, you know. Just, it's, it's sort of got that idea in my head now and I was like maybe I can do that not only for myself but also for Joe because obviously and you and Simon are a massive part of that mate that's class like oh mate I'm, I'm so glad like this is like the whole reason we're doing this podcast really trying to inspire people yeah. not just fitness but any goals they want to do so yeah and that's but, what I you know if like, cause obviously I'd run it past you and see like who knows maybe in 100 days if I have you know hopefully done it I'm you got doing, no choice now yeah, doing it, yeah I have to do it now I think we should yeah. definitely uh, put this out there and yeah see. when do you want to put this out I don't know Soon, before you start, I do, reckon. Do like, you, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. And then, like, so I'll keep me on it now. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> same, mate. And you, they'd be like, "Oh, how you doing, Lewis? Day 20. We we could like check in once a month, can we? Like for the three months. Yeah, it's like, is it cut cut a normal guest off our way now? Time for an annual segment. Yeah. We um uh, bring in Lou. <laughs> this is day ninety seven. <laughs> yeah, Lou, you put on weight. Yeah, mate, it's Ben and Jerry show. <laughs> <laughs> I was following that, Lewis. Well, I was five thousand calorie diet. Oh god, damn. <laughs> No, nah. nah, that'd be class. Like, and also like a big factor of that was was it <laughs> on Saturday? I just like I was I went out with my, I went like with the guys at the grill field and that little Abba. I was like, I'll pop into I'll have a nice little treatment. So I don't know, Ben and Jerry's for ages. Stupid lockdown, stupid line out of Morrison's. Ah, oh, screw it, there's no line. I'll go and grab one. I just usually do a Ben and Jerry's over a week. And you know, you hit a low point in one like hour. Yeah, yeah. A tub, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get it now. Like people are fighting over the toilet rolls again. I oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's because everyone's because you know, like when the government like. You've seen that, you know, was it um, Jurassic Park Lost World, the second one? Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy who's like, oh, don't worry, I'm not making the same mistakes. Like, no, you're making new ones. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, You know, it's essentially that's the British government. And then there's, oh, we're not saying, making the same mistakes again. It's like, well, you kind of are, and, but you're also making all these, it's, you know, you have the benefit of this whole like, case study of like what happened, pre, you know, like the reason we had to go into lockdown because you didn't like, no airport travel, you know, just like, you know, keep it all. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's not neither here nor there, though. You can go to fucking hours ranting about that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, mate, that's but, it. 100%. But again, like, I, I want to get it in now because the worst part about the lockdown, I know, is because I, I was actually in this sort of mindset. Because I remember I was messaging you before you started the podcast, like, oh, um, what are the footpaths like? And it's obviously they were shut. Yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. I was like, it's like, oh, so not only can you not you have to stay in your house, but you, like, you know, you, you live in this local area, you're not like running, for, like, you're going six miles somewhere else to travel, like, to Penna Van, are you? Like, you no. know, you. Know, you Tabletops are backyard and garden. It is, mate, exactly. I, I think as well, if people want to go out there and get fitter. Chances are, like, if they do get ill, they're not going to get as ill. So, yeah, I think like anything like that should be left open. Like, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's all like, you know, strong lungs, isn't it? And that's not like, you know, again, I'm not a scientist, I know, but I just know if you're like in a better sort of like, you know, you can have asthma, but you, if, you know, if you can handle if your breaths are better, that means like, you know, hopefully this virus won't bug you up as much. Yeah. Same with the cold or a chest infection. Yeah. You know? So, 100 days from Saturday. What's the date Saturday? The 26th. 26th of September, Saturday. Yeah. So what's that going to be? Um, October, November. So she's going to be looking like... Probably New Year. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Probably like right up to Christmas. So I'll make that be... Uh... Yeah. Then just go ham for the Christmas dinners. <laughs> you would have earned it. You would yeah. have earned it. But yeah, and, all, and the benefit of this is now, I think I'll see results. Because I usually, um, I usually like notice I drop a lot of weight when I go back to work. Yeah. And that's just because like, you know, it's not, much, not many hours, but you know, it's just constant. You know, there's no standing around. Yeah, you're going to get like... Towards your twenty thousand steps, you want to do like your your ten k and your distance, and you just you oh. you're not going to count that. Oh no no, I I think I will count because obviously like when I'm like at work, I'm not. You know, it's, not, you know, it's like obviously you you see a lot of like the daily the human average is ten thousand steps. Yeah, and obviously you know there's people who like nurses and bar staff and waiters. They do way more than that because it's just you know it's, you don't think you're moving in much of a space, are you? But you're yeah. moving constantly. To be honest, but yeah, even, you know like right. so yeah, I'm going to count that. But I'm also going to try and like it's just like that energy reserve. It's like okay, I've done my. Hundred of all them. I've done my ten thousand steps or whatever, or maybe twenty thousand. I was like, well, I got a bit of energy, and it's oh, it's only eight. Yeah, I'll go for a walk my time. Just maybe. means getting up an hour earlier every day, doesn't it? If you got to, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I, supposed to be a challenge. Isn't it? It's not supposed to be easy. I, honestly, the hardest part because obviously I'm going to try and make sure everything cycles back into it. So when you start like, so I'm going to throw. I've always been quite good with intermittent fasting. Yeah. So obviously I have like one of those um two liters jugs of water, and I, that helps me curb any sort of cravings. So obviously you're just taking in the water. But then you up. Yeah. So like obviously. The key to intermittent fasting, which I found for myself, is having a schedule when you're awake and when you're asleep. Yeah. Because say if like, oh, you oh, like you only eat between four and eight, so that's pointless if you get up at twelve. You go to yeah. Bed at like five eight or like three a.m. or something like that. Yeah. Like, well, if you get up like 
eight or seven. You manage, like, you know, maybe have a banana midday and I, then have a meal at four. I couldn't do it the other way around. Like, I, I'd prefer to restrict in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I could never, like, have my meal in the morning and then not eat. Oh, that's true. Are you well, that's me. You're like a breakfast person. I can never not, eat in the morning at all. I'm not really a breakfast person. I, I can hold off. Like, I, I, when I did intermittent fasting, I wouldn't eat. I was only doing the eight-hour window, like, so it's not too yeah. intense. The four hours, pretty. Yeah, it's quite constrained. But then again, it's like, that, that, that's like because obviously, like, I don't have breakfast. I don't have dinner. I just have, like, a, a fairly decent-sized lunch. Yeah. And obviously, that's what like, people, you know, like, you see people take the piss in from fasting. It's like, right, you have one hour, and they just eat horribly fatty foods. Yeah. I guess it kind of does work, though. I mean, like, that's something in my head, like, um, I'm going to try and keep it. So maybe Sunday, I'm going to still do everything I can every day. Because I know some people say, oh, you can have a, you know, it's a 100-day challenge and you record um, day one. And then 100 days of you doing this challenge, it might work out to be maybe 110 days because you've had like a weekend or something. You just physically couldn't. Maybe something happened. You yeah, if you got ill or something. Yeah, you just couldn't do it. And so it's sort of like that leeway. But like, again, the 100-day challenge is you take a picture and then when it has been 100 days, that's your end goal. That's your end picture then. Yeah. When you have done it for 100 days. and I think you should. Uh... I'm going to try and do it for like every day and Again, like I said my meal is going to be my meal is what I'm going to eat. But maybe on a Sunday, I might have that extra bit. Because obviously, it's going back to the first episode, like, you know, allow myself maybe something nice a week, which could be like, you know, like that, you could do that deficit. I, yeah, I don't think it's a bad thing to do. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad thing to do at all. I, I think if you do a 100 day challenge and you miss a day, I think you should add 10 of each on to the next 10 days and get it down yeah. to 100. Like, get, yeah, get that, the numbers. Like, you've exact. got 100 days to do these numbers. Yeah. So, like, stay on the wagon, but if you miss a day, you've got to make it up on another day, so it's, like, double punishment. Imagine, imagine just, like, phoning it in on, like, day 50 and having to do an extra 200. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Level 20 for yeah. 50 days. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that, no, like, you know, that's, that's, that's some insane stuff. Yeah. No, I mean, that'll be class. Like that. Yeah. So, this is a video for Lou doing his 100-day challenge. Yeah. Catch up with us in December time. Hopefully, yeah. Providing, you know, we're not another lockdown, like, actually... Go out and do these bloody challenges and stuff. You're allowed your hour a day, mate. Is that? You're allowed your hour a day. You can get it in. Yeah. Was it twenty? Was it ten k in an hour? Yeah. You can walk around the. You can walk around the uh, around your house if you want, can't you? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I see people in lockdown doing like marathons in their living room and stuff. That's nuts. That is nuts. I mean, again, like you know, like it'd be alright if you live by yourself. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, true. Know. Like yeah, your dad's watching telly. Like yeah, we're like, doing well. Fucking yeah. <laughs> get my way. It's only an hour a day, dad. Oh, yeah, but it should, it should be a good run. I guess that's just toying around the idea. And I've done stuff like this before, but only for like 30 days. And yeah. again, like, I you know, I know like sound like I was like, oh, you know, I've never been really like, fit. But, you know, I remember like, when you used to go to the gym, my brother, I, that was probably my pinnacle of like fitness. And like, because I know, you know, obviously, like, you know, pull up stuff like that. And like, I know I can reach that level. It's just, you know, the mentality of like keep sticking to it, which has always been my biggest problem. Like, yeah, I can do yeah. it for five months hard. Like, I did a Reese, you know, like, and obviously I saw you up there every now and again. But then, like, after this five months, oh, Reese might stop going and I might stop going. And next thing you know, I'm. Ten, all that's that I've done within the next year, like you know, yeah. ten kilograms heavier again, or however many stone. Well, this is um, a good way to make sure you do it. This is some serious accountability right here. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Oh damn it! You know, I can't like, I can't like fail now because you Simon just is at fifty miles. There's no excuse there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling the world as well, mate. You're gonna smash it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I can't wait to see like the before and after photos. It's gonna be mental, I reckon. Yeah. Again, yeah. It's, 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 I'm looking actually looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just something to do then in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Class. Yeah. Class. <laughs> right. Down to there. Nice one. Nice.